In this lesson, we are going to calculate support reactions on structures. What are support reactions? Support reactions, these are what keep the structures at equilibrium. Now, if you take a look at the screen, we have two beams. The first beam is a simply supported beam, while the second beam is a cantilever beam. So let's take a look at the first beam. Now, as you can see, we're having a pin support at point A. We're having a roller support at point B. Pin support, they don't allow movement in the S and Y direction. Why roller support, they don't allow movement in the Y direction. So we are going to have three unknown forces. Now you need to make an assumption on the direction of these forces. So we are going to say the forces in the Y direction is going to be acting upward, while the forces in the S direction is going to be to the right. These values, they are going to be positive. We are going to check if our absorption is correct or not. Whenever we have a negative value, meaning our absorption is wrong. But if we have a positive value, our absorption is right. So let's draw the unknown forces. So we are going to have an unknown force, AY, acting, to the, acting upward. Then we are going to have an unknown force, AS, to the right. While on roller support, we are going to have an unknown force, BY. Now let's calculate this forces. As you can see, we don't have any horizontal force on this beam. Because we don't have any horizontal force on this beam, AS is going to be equal to zero because we don't have any horizontal force. Now let's calculate AY and BY. We are going to take the summation of the moment at point A is equal to zero. So we are going to say the movement in the counterclockwise direction is positive, while the movement in the clockwise direction is negative. Now, you need to know that moment is equal to force times distance, meaning in order for us to have moment, or in order for moment to be produced, we need force and distance. Now, we are going to calculate BY. So we are going to say BY, which is the force, then multiplied by the distance. Now, the distance is going to be from the roller support at point B to the pin support at point A. So this is going to be 8 feet plus 12 feet plus 10 feet plus 10 feet. This is going to give us 40 feet. So this is multiplied by 40 feet. Now, this is positive because if we apply a force upward, this beam is going to try to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. So we are going to have positive values. Now, what about AS and AY? AS and AY is going to be equal to zero because there won't be any moment produced because we are taking the moment at point A. So because AS and AY is passing through point A, meaning there is no distance, and whenever there is no distance, meaning there won't be any moment produced. So this is equal to zero. Now we also have three vertical forces acting downward. So this is going to be, for the first force, we are going to have 20 keep. We are going to have 20 keep multiplied by the distance. The distance is going to be 10 feet, as you can see. Because this is going to try to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction, because if we try to apply a load on this beam, if we try to apply this load downward, this beam is going to try to rotate in the clockwise direction. So because it is rotating in the clockwise direction, it's going to be negative. So this is negative 20 keep. Negative 20 keep, then multiply by the distance, which is 10 feet. We also have 15 keep. So because this is acting downward and it is going to try to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction, it's going to be negative. So this is negative 15 keep. Then multiply by the distance. What is the distance from 15 k to the pin support? This is basically 20 feet. So this is multiplied by 20 feet. Then the last force, which is 16 k, this is also going to be negative 16 k because this is acting downward and it's going to try to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction. Then multiply by the distance. The distance is going to be 32 
feet. So because we don't have any additional vertical force, this is equal to zero. Now we just need to solve for by. So if you solve for by, we are going to get by is equal to negative 25.3 kip. Now the unit is going to be in kip because we are dealing with force. So this is going to be in kip. So by is going to be negative 25.3 kip. As you can see, we are having a negative value. We are having a negative value, which is negative 25.3 kip. Because we are having a negative value, meaning our assumption is wrong. Meaning this force is going to add downward because we are having a negative value. Whenever we have a negative value, the force is acting downward. And whenever we have a positive value, the force is acting upward. So meaning by is 25.3 kip and it is acting downward. So let's calculate AY. So we are going to sum all the forces in the Y direction. So I'm going to say summation of all the forces in the Y direction is equal to zero. So I'm going to say all the forces acting in the upward direction is positive. So we are going to have 20 keep. 20 keep is acting downward. So meaning this is going to be negative. So this is going to be negative. 20 keep. We are we're also having 15 keep, and this is acting downward. So it's going to be negative 15 keep. Then minus, we're also having 16 keep. So this is negative 16 keep. What about by? We know that by is acting downward. So this is going to be negative 25.3 keep. Now we are left with AY, and AY is acting upward, so this is going to be positive. AY is equal to zero. So we just need to find AY. So if you calculate AY, you are going to get AY equal to 76.3 keep. So this is the value of AY. As you can see, we are having a positive value. Because we are having a positive value, meaning this force is indeed acting upward. So meaning our assumption is correct. So the force is acting upward. So these are the forces that are required in order for this beam to be at equilibrium. The force AS is zero. BY is 25.3 keep acting downward. YAY is 76.3 keep acting upward. So let's find the support reaction on the second beam. So we're having a cantilever beam and we're having a fish support at point A. We know that fish support, they don't allow any movement. So we're going to have three unknown forces. Now, like I said, we are going to assume the vertical force to be acting upward. So we're having AY, then the horizontal force acting to the right. So we're having AS. Now for the moment, we are going to assume this to be in the clockwise in the counterclockwise direction. So this is going to be MA. So these are the forces we are going to calculate. Now, if you take a look at this, we are having an inclined force of 10 keep. So we need to decompose this force in its vertical and horizontal components. So how can we do this? If you take a look at this triangle, we are having the three as the adjacent, then we are having four as the opposite. So we need to calculate the hypotenuse. How can we calculate the hypotenuse? We are going to use Pythagoras theorem. So this is going to be hypotenuse is equals to the square root of three square plus four square. Calculating this, we are going to have the hypotenuse as 5. So this is going to be equal to 5. This is the y component, Why this is the s component. Now we need to calculate the force. Now, for the y component, this is associated with opposites. So we are going to say 4 over 5, because the opposite is 4, then we need to divide this with the hypotenuse. So it's going to be 4 over 5, then multiplied by the force, which is 
10 keep. So this is going to be 4 over 5 multiply 10 keep. So this is going to be the vertical force. Now what about the horizontal force? This is associated with the adjacent. So we're going to take the adjacent, which is 3. So this is going to be 3, then divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5. Then we're going to multiply this with the force, which is 10 keep. So this is going to be the horizontal component of this inclined force. Now we need to find A, Y, A, S, and M, A. Now we're going to say the summation of moments at point A is equals to zero. So we're going to take the counterclockwise direction to be positive, while the clockwise direction to be negative. Now, like I said, moment is equals to force times distance. If you take a look at this, AS and AY is passing through point A. This is going to be equal to zero because we don't have any distance. Because AS and AY is passing through point A, meaning there is no distance, so meaning there won't be any moment produced. So AS and AY is going to be equal to zero. Now let's take a look at 20 keep. So 20 keep is going to try to produce a moment at point A. So because this is acting downward, meaning it's going to try to rotate the beam in the clockwise direction. And because we're having clockwise direction, it's going to be negative. So this is negative 20 keep, which is the force. We also need a distance. Now, what is the distance? The distance is 20 feet. So this is going to be multiplied by 20 feet. Now, let's take a look at the vertical force components. This is 4 over 5 multiplied 10 keep. This force is going to try to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction because it is acting downward. It's going to try to rotate it in the clockwise direction. This is going to be negative. So we are going to have 4 over 5, then multiply 10 keep. This is the force. We also need the distance. Now, what is, what is the distance? The distance is going to be 10 feet. So we are having multiplied by 10 feet. Now, 3 over 5 multiply 10 keep, which is the horizontal force component. This is going to produce no moment because this is passing through the point A. So we don't have any distance. So because we don't have any distance, meaning the horizontal force component is not going to produce any moment. Now, we also have MA, which is the moment we are trying to determine. And as you can see, this is in the counterclockwise direction. So it's going to be positive MA is equals to zero. Now, we just need to calculate MA. So this is going to be negative 20 multiplied 20 is going to give us 400. So this is negative 400 keep feet. Then minus 4 over 5 multiplied 10 multiplied 10 is going to give us 80. So this is negative 80 keep feet plus MA is equal to 0. Now negative 400 minus 80 is going to give us negative 480. So this is negative 480 keep feet plus MA is equals to 0. Now if we take this to the right side, we're going to have MA is equal to 480 keep feet. So the moment is going to be equal to 480 keep feet. Now because we have a positive value, meaning the direction of the moment is counterclockwise. Let's calculate the other values. So let's find the force AY. How can we do this? We are going to take the summation of the forces in the y direction to be equal to zero. So we are going to say the forces acting upward is positive. As you can see, AY is upward, so this is going to be positive. So we're having positive AY. What about 20 keep? 20 keep is acting downward. So this is negative 20 keep. Now, what other vertical force do we have? We have 4 over 5 multiply 10 keep, and this is acting downward. So this is going to be negative 4 over 5 multiply 10 keep. So this is going to be AY minus 20 keep 
Then minus 4 over 5 multiplied 10, this is going to give us 8. So this is 8 cap is equal to 0. Now negative 20 minus 8 is going to give us negative 28. Now if we move negative 28 to the right side, we are going to have 28. So AY is equal to 28 cap. Now we are having a positive value. Because we're having a positive value, meaning the direction is upward. So let's calculate the value of AS. So we are going to take the summation of the forces in the S direction to be zero. And we're going to say the force acting to the right is positive, while the force acting to the left is negative. As you can see, we're having AS adding to the right, so meaning this is going to be positive, so this is AS. We're having 3 over 5 multiplied 10 keep adding to the left, so this is going to be negative. So this is negative 3 over 5, then multiply 10 keep. We don't have any additional vertical, we don't have any additional horizontal force, so this is equal to 0. Now, this is going to be AS minus 3 over 5 multiplied 10 is going to give us 6. So this is 6 keep is equal to 0. If we move negative 6 to the right side, we are going to have 6. So AS is going to be equal to 6 keep. As you can see, we are having a positive value. Because we are having a positive value, meaning the direction of this force is going to be to the right. Now, these are the forces that are required in order for this beam to be at equilibrium.